We have a story on Mr. Elliot kissing a chicken. FCCLA, stand up about graduating early, sad club, and H&A's cues. Hi Vikes, I'm Jessica. And I'm Madison, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Mr. Elliot was gone for Kiss the Pig, so we caught up with him to go kiss a chicken. Where's our chicken Where's our cameras? I'm trying to do a COP lesson. Where's the chicken? I brought the animals. I described the situation. Hi, Mr. Elliot. Uh, how did it feel kissing a chicken? I'm just a little bit upset right now. For three years, I've got out of this. I haven't had to do anything for losing Kiss the Pig, but now I did. Are you happy, Mr. Paris? Do you want me to kiss the... Waddle. Ah! <laughs> yeah, it's a lot scarier than you think. It's like, what if it bites my lips? Well, Does it bite? That, I mean, she can't. But it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your best pucker? Ah, I did it. I did it. I got, I got, I got the All right, there we go, there bikes. Go. That's what he gets for missing Kiss the Pig. Last month, Seaman FCCLA competed at District. Let's go see how they did. This month, Seaman FCCLA competed at districts. That would, that could make it. This year at districts, Renee Cabrero is the vice president of membership. Um, we just learned yesterday that Caden Fox has been selected to be the first vice president for uh, the state of Kansas for FCCLA, and he will be in July running for a national office. So we're super excited about that and really pumped up and supporting him for that. And just yesterday, we also learned that Hannah Mott be, uh, was named to the peer ed team that does FACTS, which is Families Acting for Community tra Traffic Safety. The school chapter was even able to qualify 13 people for state. Last year, we had nine qualify for state, so that's um, a really big increase, I think, for people that's two projects, so it's a lot better. Uh, districts was a little bit stressful. We had a couple people who were behind, but at the end, it was just a lot of fun and we got to meet a whole bunch of new people. I believe they all had a great time. I was a judge for um, one of the competitions that didn't have any of our students in it, but I talked to everyone and they all enjoyed it. They get just a little bit of prep work done, learn what they need to do to improve, um, and even if they don't make it to state, they learn what they need to improve or do better for next year. Those who receive first or second place at state will be competing at nationals in July in Washington, D.C. Make sure to congratulate everyone who will be competing at state in April. Allie has more information about graduating early. Juniors, I'm here with Alex to talk about how you graduated semester. So what do they have to do with that? So there is a process to graduate early. If you're one of those students that want to, first you need to come see me. I have the packet of information that you need. But really the process is you have to write a letter telling why you want to graduate early and what your plan for the future is. Um, your parent has to write a letter of support and then I as a counselor will write a letter saying that yes you will have all the credits by December to be able to graduate um, and there has to be a we have to send that to the Board of Education and they have to prove you to graduate in December um, it's pretty much a formality but um, they do want to see that you have a plan that you're not just getting out of school and sitting on your parents couch so if you're one of those people that want to graduate earlier at least explore that you need to come see me either today or tomorrow before spring break and get your packet. Awesome. Now back to your anchors. If you're interested, make sure to get on that. Seaman High School is bringing back SAD Club. Let's go find out more about it. About different things that students need to be doing to help keep themselves safe and other people, including their peers. I think others should join because like one, you make newer friends. And it's just, you get to learn more, but you also get to raise money and it's super fun. I think a lot of it's just that accountability piece. Um, when you've got people who, um, you know, are working towards the same goal of wanting to have, um, positive outcomes and positive decision-making practices. Um, if you're the only one doing it, it's hard, but if you have a group to be accountable to um, and, and voices encouraging that, I think that the positive aspect um, is way more, um, is, is louder than the negative peer pressure that can come with some of those decisions that people try to make. 
Uh, my vision for SAD, at least, is to bring awareness to uh, things that SAD stands for. So drinking while driving, texting while driving, um, underage drinking, smoking, vaping, uh, suicide prevention. It's bringing awareness to all those things that you sh probably should not do as a high schooler. <laughs> if you're interested in being a part of it, um, let us know and we can get you signed up and hopefully next year we have a very large group that can make lots of impact in our school and community. If you are interested, let me know. Attention sophomores, the SHS Bank is taking applications for next year. Applications are due today. If you've received a scholarship, please stop by the counselor's office and let Ms. Conley know. The Washburn Tech representative will be here March 16th. Please sign up in the counselor's office or email Ms. Conley. Congrats to Molly Biggs for winning ECD and Patrick Biggs for getting slated to ECD district office. Now over to Madison for our sports announcements. What's up guys? It's your guy Elias Mosier here and hey, I got a great product for you. It's called SVTV Live Streaming, okay? We want to get this done so we can see all those sports like, go touchdown bowl, man. Like, get a strike, my dude, and golf. Like, you know, these great sports. If you want to see them live, all you got to do is go down and hit that subscribe button. Just smash that subscribe button, guys. Don't forget to turn on that bell notification and like the video. Thanks, guy. See you later. News team, assemble! Today at 1.15, Shondi Stevens will sign a letter of intent to play soccer at Allen Community College. Congratulations, Shondi. If you would like to join Vikings United for the 5-on-5 five -five soccer season, please sign up with Mr. Comey in E3 or Ms. Aliker in the counselor's offices. Auxiliary band dance tryouts are April 4th. Tryout packets are available in Hertz room. For more, for more information or questions, see Mrs. Hurt. Our girls basketball team will be playing here tonight at 7. Make sure to come out and support your Lady Vikes. The theme is green. Now over to Zoe with the weather. Good afternoon, Vikings. We will be remaining warm for the next couple of weeks, but as you can see, by Monday afternoon, we are expecting a little bit of rain, and this rain will unfortunately affect our spring break with multiple chances of rain and very cloudy weather, but we will be keeping these nice temperatures. For your SVTV seven-day forecast, we will be remaining in the clear until Monday and with a high of 70 degrees. Now back to your anchors. We have another h and Q segment. Who invented St. Patrick's Day? Oh my gosh. St. Patrick. Yeah. I don't know. I have no idea. St. Patrick? Uh, St. Patrick, who was the saint of Ireland. Where was the first St. Patrick's Day parade? Ireland. <laughs> Good job, Ella. <laughs> Ireland. St. Patrick's Day Parade in New York. Sure. Ireland. It was in Boston, Massachusetts. Where was St. Patrick born? Ireland. Boston. <laughs> Ireland. He was born in England, but the celebration arose in Ireland. What was the original St. Patrick's Day color? Gold. Yeah, Yellow. Blue. Orange. Orange. Green? That's the color now. <laughs> Yellow. Blue. Uh, I'd say it was red. What are the three shamrock leaves supposed to represent? There's three. <laughs> Luck. 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 Hope. Um, well, is there one for each thing? Mm-mm. Oh. I know. Money. The three, it's uh, the body, the, it's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Who dyes the main river green to celebrate? Hey, don't. Chicago. Chicago. It's Chicago. <laughs> no idea. Wales. Boston. Chicago. 
Chicago. I honestly do not know. That's so upsetting. Uh, that is the Boston River. What do you call a fake Irish stone? Shamrock. There you go. A shamrock. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a shamrock. Yes. Good job. Okay, you were good at that. I literally didn't do anything. Big brain time. Yeah. That was another funny segment. That's all for today, Mikes. Tomorrow we will have another segment on social media.